Can we do this that way? Yeah. Uh, can we do this safely? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Excellent. We may end up being masked before the actual show as well. Mm. You know, it's weird. It's not, not acting, touching people, but not acting with three-fourths of your face covered. A lot of challenges here. If you are at a diagonal, like Ariana, get on a red spot. And Anna, if you're on a red spot at a diagonal from her, you are more than six feet apart. When we're actually performing, clearly this grid doesn't come with us. So what I have is um, six. Six foot ones will go up center, I mean up right and up left. And then four feet ones, two of them will be down. And we have caution tape. All you that fight, does everybody who's fighting have a stave? Yes? Yep. Uh, you folks who haven't decorated staves, if you could do that, just do a pattern that you can recognize so easily. So decorate a stave so you know a pattern yours. that you can recognize easily that's different from all the other patterns that are shown up there. So Everybody else's staves stave are just there. Our fights for this show are going to be very different than what we've done in the past. As you know, there will be no contact for the vast majority of the show. So because you're not actually making contact with each other, the usual zones for staged combat, like, you know, different places where you're aiming for, are out. And instead, I've kind of come up with a zoning idea for you to think about in your head. So if you're looking at the world as it is, sort of divide it into zones in front of your face, from left to right. There are three zones on the top, the three zones on the bottom. I've just numbered them really quick from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I'm talking about zone six, for you, that's going to be your bottom right corner, right? And zone one is going to be your top left. Fighter one, you will be on center two. Fighter three, you will be on down two, D2. C2 and D2. C2. You will be entering to these positions, but this is where you're really going to be starting fighting. It'll go faster when we actually have, you know, more practice on it and you guys know what you're doing. There is force. Basically, we need to project Leaf's force across the vast divide to you. All that kinetic energy. We can't have it, any of it be lost in transit. Hi, I'm Ben Mishu. I am playing Prince of Cumberland, otherwise known as Malcolm. Uh, probably the most challenging part of this experience is like connecting to the other actors uh, socially and not physically. I mean, I've had a lot of fun doing this. That's just been the really big challenge of this whole experience. All right, so that last boom, then that's Duncan coming on. That's all of you coming up. And then. Ah, the broiler sound is leaving. Merciless McDonwald, worthy to be a rebel. For villainies of nature do swarm upon him. McDonald's! Ah! and the conditions that you're working in, bring clothes, bring things. If you're going to be on the ground at all, you may want to wear pants instead of shorts. Okay. Petro, well, direct the fight no choreography no and play in McDuff in the piece. No movies, none of that stuff. Can I do it for real now? Well, the fights themselves have been quite challenging. We've had to rethink how we do combat on stage. It's a lot more like dance choreography than it has been in past years. It's very stylized, the motions are 
strong and repetitive and a lot of emphasis is placed on the reactions people have to blows rather than the actual sound of the contact of the stage. So I think it's allowed us to learn and grow a lot as a company and as a troupe. All right, witches. This was my brainstorm this morning at 6 a.m. You know the hoop skirts? I have ones that are made out of a mesh. They used to probably be white, but now they're very yellowed. Um, and then something, again, we're looking at roots and stuff that are around here to make into these gnarly root crowns. There is power and power. Who's the most famous? I think it's Peter. Now, speed it up a little bit. There is power and power. Who's the most famous? 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 Who's the most
thing get up, like like you see her and, and she thinks you're coming at her. That's really kind of like this little scary moment, and you're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I think, but there, I speak not. Good night, the doctor. Come out, realize you're all alone. Realize you're all alone. God, God, forgive us all. That was really good. Yes. Yeah, that was really good. Um, well, I think we got that scene. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's move on down to uh, rehearsal hall number two. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jennifer Magoski. I'm stage manager for this show, and everyone's been doing really well with all the social distancing and not touching each other or sharing things that we always want to share, like the moments that are so special in Project Shakespeare of making friendships. And now it's still strong, even though we can't touch each other in that same way, we can still be friends and um, put a show together. and. Nothing can stop us. Shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is 
serve no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and scurry, signifying nothing. <laughs> Everyone dies. 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 Everyone crowns. Everyone dies. Center stage, right? Which, which center, is here. center stage. Center stage. Here. Like the audience's center or here. our center? Okay. Good. Stage center or center. center. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's almost 20 after. I'm just gonna go sit up there. Do you need me for anything? I don't believe so. No, no. You are the most self-sufficient cast ever. I love it. Um, have a really good last show. This has been a good thing, hasn't it? I think so. Yay. I think so too. So, we all stayed healthy, and our audience stayed healthy, and we showed that you can do this. I think that's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations. Thank you all very, very much. Actors, thank you. Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Enjoy. <laughs> try to concoct in this crazy upside down world. Um, thank you all very much for your support. Stay safe, stay well, and good night.
I'm Deborah Shakespeare Thurber, the founder and director of Project Shakespeare. And even a pandemic does not stop Project Shakespeare from performing in the summer. It started with just a crazy thought, a tennis court that I knew I could mark off into six foot squares to keep the kids socially distanced. And it took off from there. Peace. 